This lecture covers the idea of energy. So it's important to understand energy drinks by understanding what energy is. And generally we can define that as the capability or capacity to do work. So that's what energy would be defined as. Uh, and work is the ability to transfer energy. So they sort of go together um, and to transform energy from one state to another. That's what work is. Um, there's some different types of energy, and three that we're going to concentrate on are solar energy. So that's energy from the sun, or light. Uh, and this is the initial source of energy for all living organisms. It comes from the sun. We also have chemical energy, which is energy stored in molecules. It's in the bonds of chemical compounds. And that's the kind of energy we use in order to, uh, you know, when you get energy from food, or plants get energy from the food they make, this is chemical energy. Mechanical energy is the energy of motion, which is movement. We can also call that specifically kinetic energy. If you've ever heard of kinesiology, people who like sports often study that. It's the study of movement. Um, or it could be potential energy. That's another type of mechanical, where it's the energy of position, or, or the stored energy. So chemical energy is actually a kind of potential energy as well. Um, so this is the idea of a rock sitting at the top of a hill. It's not moving, so it's not kinetic energy. It's potential energy because it's stored in its position being high on the hill. Um, water behind a dam. All your clothes shoved into your closet and the door closed, ready to fall out when you open it. So the potential energy is when the clothes are in your closet, and the kinetic energy would be when you open it and they all fall out. Remember that theories are based on facts, and they're really well supported. So they're not just like these random ideas. Um, and so these theories help develop laws. Now, we do not have really laws in biology, but in the realm of physics, because there's a lot of mathematics, and like you can um, use these theories to form what we call laws. So there's two major laws of energy which tell you how energy works. Thermodynamics just means um, kind of energy studies. So the first law of energy studies is that energy can, can be converted but not created or destroyed. So energy is always within the system. It's coming from the sun and flowing through other organisms and eventually leaving as heat but it's never created or destroyed. The second law for studying energy is that the conversions of energy from one form to another result in disorder. Often we're talking about disorder in the form of heat when we're talking about living systems. So heat is uh, generally not able to be used by organisms for energy, so it just goes into the atmosphere and it's the most disordered form of energy. And you might have heard this word entropy. Entropy means disorder. We'll see a picture of that in a moment. So here's that example of the first law of thermodynamics, that energy is converted. Here we have solar energy from the sun, which is coming in. Some of it's not absorbed by organisms and just released as heat. Other energy is absorbed by plants or other photosynthetic organisms like algae. Those guys can do photosynthesis, turn it into chemical energy in the form of molecules, like their sugars in them. That chemical energy can then be, um, some of the, the energy from the plant is released as heat, and that chemical energy can then be used by other organisms like a human, which is an animal. The chemical energy there is when you eat it, it's being broken down into uh, and releasing that energy in the bonds, and then helps you um, move. Let's say that's mechanical energy walking. It's also released as heat. Um, and then that movement, of course, releases it as heat as well. And there are lots of other organisms in the system. We're just giving a really simple example of the flow of energy through that system. The second law mentioned this word entropy or disorder, loss of order. 
And so you can see the classic example here, right, is that anytime you clean your house, you know that it just tends to get messy again. Like that's the natural state of things is being messy or disordered. So um, the natural state here, for example, of, of you see there's lots of little balls on this side, but not on the other. The natural state is that uh, the balls would spread out equally. So these are just ions, hydrogen ions, but it doesn't matter. The substance would spread out equally. Um, but the, you can't do work if everything's spread out. Like the, if it's very disordered, work can't be done and all of everything would die. So we need disorder to be counteractive. We need order to be kept in life. Um, both to do work as well as to like literally form structures. So what does that mean? To keep more order, we need to put energy into the system. So because systems go towards disorder, second law, we must have energy going into the system to keep order and counteract that.